In the expansive universe with its billions of galaxies, each teeming with countless stars and planets, it seems statistically likely that life, in some form, could exist beyond Earth. This raises a fascinating question. How might extraterrestrial life be attempting to contact us? One conventional method of interstellar communication is the use of radio waves. Humans have been transmitting radio signals into space for over a century and have been listening for signals for several decades. Extraterrestrials advanced enough to understand and use radio technology could be transmitting signals across the cosmos. The vast distances and the relative slowness of radio waves traveling at light speed, however, make this a challenging proposition. Also, our current technology can only detect strong signals and only from a relatively small portion of the sky. Despite these limitations, radio waves remain our best option for interstellar communication. Interestingly, Eric Hecker, a contractor who was employed at the IceCube Neutrino Observatory located at the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica between 2010 and 2011, was one of the individuals who exposed the truth about what's going on at the observatory. Eric Hecker not only claimed that the Antarctica station serves as a significant air traffic control center for monitoring human and non-human operated spacecraft, but he also witnessed a potent green laser emanating from the top of this facility. On June 17, 2023, the webcam situated at the Amundsen-Scott base recorded a distinct occurrence where a green laser was observed hitting the observatory, with users noting that it happened again on the 16th of July. Lasers, highly focused beams of light, have numerous advantages as a medium for interstellar communication. First, lasers are directional and can maintain their beam's coherence over vast distances, allowing a signal to be sent directly to a targeted location. Second, the high frequency of light waves enables a large bandwidth for data transmission, allowing the delivery of complex information. Third, compared to radio waves, lasers in certain wavelengths can transmit more energy and are less likely to be scattered or absorbed by interstellar medium or Earth's atmosphere. These characteristics make lasers an appealing choice for advanced civilizations trying to communicate over interstellar distances. If such civilizations exist and possess the technological prowess to manipulate lasers as a communication tool, they could be transmitting data-rich signals towards us right now. The challenge, however, lies in detecting such laser signals. We must be directly in the path of the laser beam, and the signal must be within a range of frequencies that we are monitoring. Furthermore, we would need to differentiate it from background noise and natural sources of light, such as stars. In this context, a brief, powerful burst of laser light, sometimes referred to as a laser pulse, could serve as a distinctive beacon, attracting our attention. Some suggested that it might be a directed energy weapon. Directed energy weapons are a transformational addition to the arsenal of modern military and defense organizations. Directed energy weapons, as the name suggests, focus energy in a particular direction to damage or destroy a target. Unlike conventional weapons that rely on kinetic force, DWs employ the use of electromagnetic energy including lasers, microwaves, particle beams, and even sound to disable or neutralize threats. Lasers are one of the most recognized forms of directed energy weapons. High-energy lasers can superheat the surface of a target to cause structural damage or detonation. This technology has been tested for missile defense and against unmanned aerial vehicles with significant success. Lasers also have a virtually limitless magazine, as long as power supplies hold out, providing them a substantial advantage over conventional weapons. Interestingly, this isn't the first time that strange lights have been seen above Antarctica. Antarctica, Earth's southernmost continent, is a vast, icy wilderness largely unexplored by humans due to its inhospitable climate. This remoteness, coupled with the continent's intrinsic mystery, has led to numerous speculations including intriguing reports of unidentified objects. Over the years, there have been numerous accounts of strange phenomena in the Antarctic skies, with some even dating back to the early explorers of the 20th century. Some of the most compelling accounts stem from military and scientific personnel stationed in research facilities in Antarctica. These individuals, often working in isolation, have reported seeing strange lights and unidentified objects that move with extraordinary speed and maneuverability, 
defying known aviation technology. One account comes from a British Antarctic survey mission in the 1960s. The team reported observing a formation of unidentified objects flying over the South Pole. The objects moved with tremendous speed and then disappeared, leaving the team mystified. One theory for why they appear above Antarctica is that the remoteness of the area provides a perfect cover for unknown earthly activities. The barren, icy landscapes and the absence of civilian populations make it an ideal location for secrecy. Other theories draw from more speculative fields. Some propose that ancient advanced civilizations may have built underground bases in Antarctica, hidden beneath the ice. Others suggest that extraterrestrial beings are attracted to the magnetic anomalies present at the poles. While these theories are fascinating, they lack solid scientific evidence. The harsh environmental conditions make comprehensive exploration and investigation of Antarctica difficult, leaving these sightings largely unverified. It's important to note that most sightings can often be explained through natural or man-made phenomena. Atmospheric conditions, reflection or refraction of light, conventional aircraft, and even high-altitude balloons or drones can cause misinterpretations. Regardless of the explanations, the sightings over Antarctica contribute to the worldwide fascination with unidentified objects. These accounts, shrouded in the icy mystery of the Antarctic wilderness, inspire wonder and provoke thought about what might exist beyond our current understanding. This unusual photo has started to circulate on the internet, displaying a sizable object being lit up by the moon's glow. This occurrence took place over China, and witnesses described it as a flawless rectangular shape. What makes this sighting perplexing is the fact that it is not the first time that such a rectangular object has been observed. In China, residents have reported a similar sighting above the Shandong province, an area renowned for peculiar sightings. According to individuals who witnessed the mysterious object, the object in question was difficult to perceive and only became apparent if one was standing in the correct location. The presence of moonlight aided in the visibility of the object, causing some observers to describe it as sizable, yet they were perplexed by its ability to remain suspended in the sky. This phenomenon sparked the sharing of photographs among online communities that investigate mysterious sightings, prompting other residents to come forward with their sighting. The world of unidentified objects and reports is filled with a variety of shapes and descriptions, from the classic disc shape to cigar-shaped objects. But one of the more unique sightings involves a glowing rectangle. The object was initially noticed around 9 in the evening and was described as a radiant light in the sky. It rapidly grew in both size and brightness, eventually resembling a large glowing rectangle. It moved with an eerie silence, and the light it emitted pulsed in a rhythmic pattern. Such consistent geometric form is not commonly reported in sightings, making this an exceptional case. The rectangle's luminosity, hovering stability, and silence ruled out common explanations like conventional aircraft or drones. Some of the residents who witnessed the aircraft said that over the next several hours, the glowing rectangle remained stationary, its pulsating glow making it easily visible. Those who were on the scene said that after a while, it began to fade and ascend until it disappeared. This departure further contradicts typical aircraft behavior, adding to the case's uniqueness. Following the sighting, theories proliferated in an attempt to explain the glowing rectangle. Skeptics suggested it could be an elaborate hoax involving lasers and mirrors, an atmospheric phenomenon, or an experimental military aircraft. However, no evidence supported these theories, and the size, silence and behavior of the rectangle made them unlikely. Believers and enthusiasts, on the other hand, proposed other ideas. Some suggested it was an interdimensional craft, based on its geometric perfection and the odd pulsing of its light. Others hypothesized that it was an extraterrestrial probe or communication device, given its stationary hovering and seemingly purposeful light patterns. This sighting gained little attention, but prompted analyses from independent researchers. The data, however, proved inconclusive, with no clear patterns or readings explaining the object's origin or purpose. China, being one of the oldest civilizations with rich cultural and historical heritages, 
has also been home to numerous unidentified object sightings over the years. These incidents, ranging from rural farmlands to bustling urban areas, have inspired a surge of interest in both the general populace and scientific community alike. In the early 1980s, China saw a significant increase in sightings. Reports came from a variety of sources including civilians, pilots, and even military personnel. For instance, one of the most widely reported cases occurred in July 1981, where multiple witnesses reported a spinning, glowing object emitting various colored lights that hovered in the sky before disappearing suddenly. The event sparked a media frenzy and remains unexplained. Another well-documented case occurred when an airport in Hangzhou had to halt operations due to a mysterious object seen hovering close to the area. A glowing object was spotted in the sky, leading to flights being grounded for an hour. The sighting was confirmed by radar readings and photographic evidence, resulting in a wave of speculation and discussions across the globe. Chinese authorities later suggested that the object was probably related to military testing, yet concrete evidence or further explanation was never presented. China's most recent wave of sightings happened in 2021, when residents in Shanghai and Beijing reported seeing a string of glowing objects moving across the sky. The authorities claimed they were satellites from SpaceX's Starlink project, but many researchers noted the unusual formation and speed, which did not align with the usual patterns of satellite movement. These examples illustrate the variety and frequency of sightings in China. Chinese officials' usual explanation tends towards rational causes such as military exercises, atmospheric phenomena, or man-made objects like satellites and drones. However, the lack of detailed official reports and the cessation of research by the Chinese Academy of Sciences often leave these incidents shrouded in mystery, leading to a burgeoning interest in amateur research groups and online forums. Interestingly, China's historical records and folklore are also rich with accounts of strange aerial phenomena. Classic texts like the Book of the Jin and Zuo Zhuan include descriptions of pearl-like objects in the sky or fireballs chasing each other, showing that China's history with UFO phenomena extends far back in time. Utsurobuna, often translated as hollow ship, is a mysterious event embedded in the rich tapestry of Japanese folklore and mythology. With the earliest written account dating back to the early 19th century, the tale blends elements of extraterrestrial encounters with a cultural narrative, capturing the imagination of historians, researchers into the unknown, and the general public alike. The Utsurobuna incident reportedly occurred in 1803, as documented in three Japanese texts. Despite minor discrepancies, the texts present a remarkably consistent narrative. Fishermen in the Hitachi province found an unusual boat-shaped object drifting near the coastline. The craft, about 3.3 meters high and 5.4 meters wide, had a metallic outer layer and a top made of transparent crystal or glass. This detail, combined with the vessel's seemingly seamless construction, has led many modern readers to draw parallels with unidentified objects. The vessel's occupant was a woman of extraordinary beauty, estimated to be around 18 to 20 years old. She did not speak any recognizable language and carried a small box that she allowed no one to touch. Additionally, the interior of the ship allegedly contained inscriptions of an unknown language or script, adding to the overall mystery. Despite the language barrier, the woman was said to have communicated non-verbally with the locals, who provided her with food and drink. She then re-entered the ship, which drifted away and disappeared from sight. The encounter, brief and benign, nevertheless left a lasting impression on the fishermen and local community, ultimately making its way into folklore and history. Interpretations of the incident are wide-ranging. Traditionalists regard the story as supernatural folklore, symbolic of cultural fears or societal issues of the time. Meanwhile, those who research the unknown argue that the encounter is an account of a close encounter of the third kind, pointing out the similarities between the descriptions of the vessel and its occupant with modern sightings and reports of unknown entities. Skeptics, however, propose more grounded explanations. One theory suggests the woman might have been a foreign princess, banished after a political coup, with the unknown language being an unfamiliar foreign language. The box she carried could have contained a royal emblem, 
or personal keepsake, explaining her reluctance to let others touch it. Another hypothesis proposes the woman was a Russian or European castaway, given the proximity of the Hitachi province to the Pacific Ocean. In recent years, the story has been analyzed through the lens of cultural tracking, an academic approach to folklore that examines how narratives evolve over time and across cultures. Interestingly, parallels have been drawn between the incident and the European Ship of Fools narrative, where a ship carries individuals isolated due to non-conforming behavior. This theory suggests that the story may have evolved from the interaction between Japanese and European seafarers, morphing over time into the narrative known today. The incident remains a cultural enigma, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. Whether viewed as an advanced encounter, a tale of supernatural phenomena, a reflection of societal issues, or an expression of human encounters with the foreign and unfamiliar, the story resonates across time and culture. It underlines the universal human fascination with the unexplained and continues to inspire conversations and research, echoing our collective quest to comprehend the mysteries of our world and beyond. So, what do you make of this mysterious photograph? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.